The air data probes on the left and right sides of Discovery's nose have been deployed using atmospheric pressure data to update onboard information about its altitude. Six minutes, 45 seconds until touchdown. Discovery uh, currently flying to the west of Lake Okeechobee. 75 miles until touchdown at the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery at the point of terminal area energy management receiving navigation updates for the proper alignment and speed as it approaches the heading alignment cylinder in front of the runway. Discovery less than 70 miles from the landing site. Approaching the hack, no changes to winds or weather, nominal shoot deploy. Five minutes until touchdown. Now the view from the pilot point of view camera, looking out of the heads up display. Commander Mark Kelly now flying Discovery. Discovery goes subsonic on a Saturday morning, a sun-kissed shuttle announcing its arrival at the landing site. Three minutes from touchdown. Commander Mark Kelly uh, handing the stick off to pilot Ken Ham, beginning an overhead left-hand turn to align with runway 15, the northwest to southeast approach to the three-mile-long landing strip. Discovery Houston, on at the 180. Roger, on at the 180. Kelly now flying Discovery once again.
Discovery Houston, on at the 90. Roger, on at the 90. Runway inside, Discovery. Discovery now aligned with runway 15. One minute until touchdown, Discovery perfectly aligned. Commander Mark Kelly flaring up Discovery's nose. Pilot Ken Ham to deploy the landing gear. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Ham now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 5.7 million mile mission to further expand a global city in space. Garrett Reisman home after 95 days away from the planet. Discovery, beautiful landing, Mark, and uh, congratulations on a great mission. We will meet you on page 5-3 for post-landing. Hey, Terry, thanks. Uh, great to be back, and uh, it was great to, for all of us to be part of a, you know, a big team that uh, made the station a little bit bigger and a little bit more capable. Copy that, and uh, we concur. Two weeks after its launch, you can see uh, the auxiliary power units venting through infrared cameras uh, down at the Kennedy Space Center, a normal function of the post-landing activity for the shuttle systems. Entry Flight Director Richard Jones uh, now going around the room for any uh, changes to the post-landing uh, procedures to safe the vehicle. Everything looks very good.
two weeks after its launch, Discovery sits passively on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston. Here are the unofficial uh, touchdown times for Discovery. Main gear touchdown unofficially logged at a mission elapsed time of 13 days, 18 hours, 13 minutes, 7 seconds, or 10, 15, and 19 seconds a.m. Central Time. Nose gear touchdown unofficially logged at 13 days, 18 hours, 13 minutes, 18 seconds, or 10, 15, and 30 seconds a.m. Central. Discovery's wheel stop unofficially marked at 13 days, 18 hours, 14 minutes, 7 seconds, or 10, 16, and 19 seconds a.m. Central Time. Hey, Red Reconfig 5-8, and at 55 degrees, Monday uh, Reconfig. Good read back. Hey, Houston, are you ready for the hydraulic load test? We are ready for that. This is Mission Control Houston, Discovery sitting very calmly now on uh, runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center following its uh, touchdown seven and a half minutes ago at uh, 10.15 a.m. Central Time. The uh, landing was viewed in real time up on the International Space Station by the Expedition 17 crew as they watched a, a video that was a live television feed that was uplinked to them through the KU band communication system. Uh, at, right after Discovery rolled to a wheel stop, NASA science officer and flight engineer Greg Shamatov uh, offered this reaction two weeks after being launched aboard Discovery. 
used to alpha and is based to ground too. Go ahead on two, Taff. Houston, what an awesome sight to be able to watch the Space Shuttle land live here uh, on board the space station, and what a beautiful landing. Uh, congratulations to the whole team. It's, uh, it was a spectacular mission uh, from end to end, practically flawless, and uh, we had a new uh, Hope Eco module on the space station, and uh, it's, a, it's a great success. Hey, uh, thanks for sending the words down, Taz. It was pretty down here as well. And, yeah, you got to call that one a huge success. You guys enjoy Kibo. Yeah, thanks so much for enabling us to watch it live up here. That was great. You bet, uh, Taz. Let us know when you want us to take it down. Uh, are you finished with it now, or would you like to keep it for a while? Well, I'll hang on to it for a while. Okay, sounds great. Before you know it, you'll be catching your own ride home. Those comments from... NASA Flight Engineer and Science Officer Greg Shamatov talking to spacecraft communicator Kevin Ford in the International Space Station Flight Control Room down the hall from where we are in the Space Shuttle Flight Control Room as the entry team of flight controllers uh, continues to watch over the uh, safing of Discovery systems on board by the crew. The weather cooperated uh, throughout the morning at the Kennedy Space Center. Just a few clouds uh, that were watched uh, down the stretch by uh, Chief Astronaut Steve Lindsay, who flew the uh, shuttle training aircraft around the vicinity of the uh, shuttle landing facility at the Florida Spaceport. In the end, everything was in great shape, and the uh, go was given for the deorbit burn that was executed at 9.10 a.m. Central Time. One hour and five minutes later, Discovery touched down on runway 15 to wrap up a 5.7 million mile mission, the 123rd flight in shuttle program history, the 35th flight for fleet leader Discovery. Thanks for the report. 